just spent too much money on Ashley I hear yeah. at Target but she's done I wasn't gonna get her too many more things but Target had a spend 40 on kids apparel get $10 off and then one of the shirts we found was on sale quickly really fast can you speed run speed run on the shirts you got well we went to Bath and Body Works and, as well um, socks. socks I'm gonna get rid of a lot of your old ones um, uh, lunchbox this from the shirt. cute tie-dye that one threw us off because it was on clearance. Uh, this pink top. Okay. Uh, this You'll see a pattern. It's either plain ribbed or graphic tee. This top. Yep. Uh, this one. She's excited about this one. This one. Cute little boots. Uh, Sabrina Carpenter. Sabrina Carpenter. Very large. We're hoping it shrinks a little bit. And then bread, milk, and I don't want to run out of jelly over the weekend. I'm not going to Costco. So we should have just gotten a bag for that, but whatever. All right. And then I got a few um, air fresheners. Um, it's just their last of their summer ones. And I just really like them. They don't smell too summery, so they'll be fine going into the fall. Um, I still am sick. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling good today. I'm just I'm running out of energy right now. I need to kind of save it because in two hours I need to leave to go with Abby. Um, she's going to get her senior pictures taken. But it's like, I don't know, about a half hour, 40 minutes away from here. She's gone out and um, scoured a location at like a farm. It's a lavender farm, I think. Um, and we're going to do it at sunset. Um, and we kind of have like smoky skies. So I think <coughs> the smoky skies tend to um, give a really good effect. They tend to really add to the lighting. So that's going to be kind of nice. Um, but she has been working hard at finding the location. Our photographer that we're going to have do it. She, I learned that she was the photographer right when she moved to our area. And she was our last minute photographer for Santa pictures. Oh yeah. And uh, she was super pregnant at the time that she did it. Um, but she does it professionally. And so she, the Santa pictures turned out great. And so fast forward, she's now moved out to one of the peninsulas. And I don't remember where she lives exactly, but she's moved suddenly. Her husband did the mountain Adams climb with Jason and I had no idea that they had moved when he had offered to go on, this, on that climb. Um, and I said, you don't have to come clear back over here just to do these photos. And she's like, this is what I love to do. I'll leave my kids behind for the day. Dad can take care of them. She has a newborn now, so she's had the baby. Um, not newborn, he's a couple months old, but um, she's like, no, this is good for everyone. And uh, so she's gonna come over and do Abby's portraits, but she's got her outfits and she's Your gonna do some outfits. So oh my gosh, throwing me under the bus. I got a Coke refill for myself. Um, normally I wouldn't this afternoon, um, but I need to have some energy to like get through this photo session. Cause Abby wants to utilize every ounce of light. And she's like, mom, sunset is 8.20. <laughs> so we're leaving at 5.30 and I need to be able to last that long. Um, so she's gone and done her nails this week. I'm gonna trim her hair when I get home. She has her outfits all ready to go. Um, she's probably gotten showered and cleaned up and all ready. So I'm so excited to. So the, here's the thing is that we did this same thing for Kaylee and had the most beautiful photo session with our the other photographer who also has moved out to um, Bainbridge Island. I don't know why ever, all our photographers are moving out to the islands, but, um, and that was a video that I really wanted to start, like a senior, like, you know, dedicated video for Kaylee, and, um, that disc, if you remember when Kaylee was a senior, that disc went bad, and that was all that I hadn't taken off that disc, was her senior portraits. <laughs> so sad. So I really hope and pray nothing happens to, um, Abby's today. 
as I'm getting, my dear child. It wasn't a kid's actually meal. like. She said, you know, when moms get sick, they're, they're not, not actually sick. But I didn't mean it in that way. I so meant. Tell like them what when, you meant to say. When they're sick, they never stop. Mm hmm. Yes, we don't get a chance to stop. You don't get to stop. We have to go to the dollar store. We have to go get something for a craft project. We have we to. We have to. We have to go buy school supplies. Well, that you have to. Well, I went to Target to get stupid cleaner spray, and then we didn't even get the cleaner spray. We were, like, checking out and dealing with the whole, like, price difference problem. And I remembered that I didn't have the stupid spray that I went for. And Chelsea was going to be so excited because she hates the smell of the one we currently have. But she's not the one doing the counters anymore. I am. Which is why I wanted to pick the scent that I wanted to. But we'll be back. We'll be back. But I'm going to really hope and pray um, that this disc... In fact, I should just check right now that it's not full, but that it doesn't go corrupt. Because I will be so sad, like, if that every, if every senior picture portrait video that I make of my girls is, goes corrupt, I'm going to scream. But Kaylee probably will be mad if this one actually works and Abby's turns out good. Don't pick it. You can see Don't pick it. Just pick it a little pimple on her nose. Do you not see that? Like I see it. I, yeah, you're supposed to leave it alone. All right, we are headed to get Abby's photos done. She has said I can film her. I'm not sure if she's gonna be comfortable in the car, but maybe at a distance. But she looks really cute. Can I show you now? Yeah. She looks cute. She's got a couple outfit ch changes. Just one. Just one outfit. So, we're gonna, she got her Starbucks ordered. Let me pick that up and we're gonna head out. It's about a 40 minute drive. Um, so we're just gonna get there a little early, kind of scout out the area. It looks really pretty. I saw another photographer post photos and it's really pretty right now. Yeah, and we've got hazy skies, which turn really, really pretty um, yeah. at sunset. So should be a good night. Look at this little car. He's driving on the We're right the behind side. it. Look how little it is. We're gonna go buy it. Look how little. And he's on the right side of the car. It's like a little Euro car. All right, we got here to, is it JB Farm or JB, JD? JB Family Growers Farm. It's gonna be really pretty. We're gonna go and get to pay up here. All right, so we got all locked, signed in. We put our badges <laughs> on my bag. She's like, if you're getting photos done, you don't want to wear these. So we put them on my bag. But I guess we can actually cut flowers and take quite a big bundle. Um, you had to pay for it, but she said, yeah, quite a big bundle for uh, like half a gallon is one bundle or something, which yeah. I don't know what that means. It's like 13 bucks or whatever for a huge bundle. So we'll see. We're just gonna scatter it out here. Um, Abby's done a ton of research. She follows a bunch of photographers, local photographers online, and then she watches for her other friends and where they're getting their pictures taken. I think the mountain is supposed to be out there. You just can't see it. Yeah. And, uh, which is unfortunate, the smoky skies are covering, covering that up. But, uh, anyway, we're just gonna see what areas look good. Obviously, the sun's gonna go down here in the next hour, or uh, down a little bit more, which will help a ton. Um, but this is really fun. I have no idea how much she charges for <laughs> her session, but, uh, we'll find out when we're done. <laughs> I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down, down Cause I ain't got nobody I always feel so lonely when the day is through I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights I used to spend time with all my friends But who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights 
I try to get everyone to see me. I play, play, play my games. But I just end up looking like a showcase. I have in myself to blame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down, down. Cause I ain't got nobody. So lonely when the day is through. I'm in the spotlight, not home till midnight. I want somebody to hold my hand. Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heart. I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. Ooh, ooh. All right, what did you think, Abby? It went really good. She's a really good photographer, too. She really paid attention to yeah. details. Yeah. She always stopped and had an idea that she wanted me to do. Uh, Picking at flowers. Yeah, little detail shots or different poses. Yeah. 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 But she also was like, uh, you know what you're doing as well. She's like, how does she know what, she, what to do, you know? And I was like, well, she is the editor for the yearbook, so she knows what shots look good. And so, and she kind of studies this kind of stuff. I've looked at a lot of senior photos. Yeah, she knows what's going to turn out well. Yeah. So, and you do like taking, like getting your photo taken. Like yeah. you do like to yeah. make sure it looks good. So, she has earned Chick-fil-A. And we are not coming home from the doctor's office, which is usually the time we get it. Yeah, there's a police officer right there. Okay, we're gonna put this down. We, we are going to a post, a pre-op appointment in a week? Two it's weeks. Like a week and, yeah, two yeah, weeks. Something. She does have a, her pre-op appointment for her surgery. Yeah. So we're gonna be going to Chick-fil-A again <laughs> for that. Um, but anyway, we've earned Chick-fil-A for dinner. Jason is going to a movie with his guy friends and I'm gonna call it a night after we get home because I'm done for the day. But yeah. I am very excited to get the photos back. She's got a month before Abby needs them yeah. to be submitted at the high school. Yeah. Um, but Paige is her name. She's very excited to edit these photos. Yeah. She loved this farm. I just feel bad because she came from Port Orchard where she just moved from. I didn't realize how far she moved. She's an hour and a half away. <laughs> So when I was paying her, I gave her a little bit of an extra tip. And um, she did add, you know, the cost of her drive to the price, but I don't feel like that was enough for yeah. what she did. Most um, photographers around here are charging 1000 to $2,000 for- Just for this session. Yeah, for like a two hour session. And if they had had to drive an hour and a half to come to you- Yeah, they would have factored. They would have factored that in as an extra, extra cost. So when we get the photos back from her, um, I'm gonna send her another little bit of a tip because she has a little four month old and a little two year old and a four year old to go home to in an hour and a half and her night is not over, so. Um, but anyway, we appreciate all the work she did. All right, we're pulling around to go to Chick-fil-A, but look at the sun. The tree line blocked this from where we were at. Okay, I know, I can't. You're gonna see it here in a second. Oh, I keep missing it. Oh, see how orangey it is? Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.